Hello, hello! <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Dawn. Welcome to my little art year. Um, it's I'm here back again after a break last week from my Friday freebie fun because last week it was a very, very big, busy week. My little baby boy, Louis, he turned one. And before that, I was it was my birthday as well and then it was also my husband's birthday. So the whole month of April and May has just been very busy with lots of birthdays to celebrate so as a result i thought i'd take a bit of a break last week but this week i am back and guess what we are making because <laughs> i've been eating so much so much birthday cakes i thought it would be fun if we can do a special giant or super long mega long birthday cake or it doesn't have to be a birthday cake it can be a dream cake so today we're gonna do a super fun activity we're gonna do our own cake our dream cake um these are the things that you need you need two sheets of paper so again like all my classes we always use heavyweight painting paper you can hear it's very very thick it's got to be thick so that when you paint it won't um tear or it won't have a hole so yeah you get two pieces of paper and you can stick them so join them together and you can use tape and you can sorry i've got packaging tape because uh, i've been using it a lot in my year Ooh, to pack orders but you don't have to use like packaging tape you can use just normal tape so make sure you join them together and you can stick it down so you get a very long piece of paper so yep and then of course you need markers um i sell these online i they come in a pack of a really broad chubby thick marker as well as a thinner one like that so it's up to you whether or not you want to use the chubby one or the thin one i like to use both um but yeah it's up to you use what you have at home so markers you gotta have a paint brush you gotta have some paint pot a, a water pot to wash your brush in some paper towel so that you can dry your brush and of course if you use paint brush you gotta use paints i've got my fluoro here and I've got my warm colours and I've also got my cool colours. Now, if you don't have paints, you don't have to freak out. You don't have to go, oh, I don't have paints. I can't do the activity. You don't have to worry. Instead of paints, you can use markers. You can use colour pencils. You can use oil pastels. Or if you really, really, really need to paint, food colouring. <laughs> you can use a bit of food colouring. Just make sure you don't get it on your fingers. Because if not, you'll be an alien. You'll be like an alien walking around with blue fingertips for a very long time. So be very careful if you want to use food colouring. Just a tiny bit. Ask mum to help you or dad to help you drip it out or drop the few drops of uh, food colouring into little dishes that you can use. And you can use those as paints. But be very careful not to touch it. So we are going to start. So we're going to put the paints aside first because we don't need them yet. We're going to use the markers. So first thing... Your two pieces of paper, stick them together at the back and then turn it around. What you're going to do is on this giant long piece of paper, you're going to draw a very long tall cake. Okay, now this is a bit tricky because it's um, obviously it won't fit in the camera. So I'm going to try. So I'm, I like to use my big fat marker first to do all like the main outline. And I think I'll use the smaller marker to fill in the details. So what I'm going to do... Okay, this is the bottom of my paper. It's a bit hard to tell because the table is also white and the paper is white. But this is the bottom of the paper. Okay, I'm going to draw a big platter or a big cake stand. Da, 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 da. So, looks a bit funny from your angle, but that's my cake stand. And on top of the cake stand, of course, what goes on top of it? Me? No. You? No. You're going to draw your cake. So, I'm going to draw my cake. So, I'm going to start with a rectangle first. And maybe some cream. And I have another layer. And more cream. Because I like cream in my cake. What sort of cakes do you like? Maybe this layer can have like a giant long jelly snake. Mm. And this one here. More cream. <laughs> Lots of cream. And then maybe a very tall bit here without much cream. Okay, as you can tell, I'm going, I'm starting from the bottom and I'm moving up, 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 up. I'm adding more and more and more and more layers of cake. 
More cream. So much cream. Oh my god, you're gonna get fat. <laughs> I am already a little bit chubby to be honest. So I should not, you know, think about cream all the time. But I guess this is low fat because I can't eat this. So I can draw as much cream as I want. Maybe on the top, I'm going to draw a jelly actually. So to finish off, because I'm reaching, this is the end of my paper. I'm, instead of drawing more cream, I'm going to draw a big giant wobbly jelly. Because I like jelly too. So my cake, or the cake that you're drawing, it doesn't have to be, oh wait, with cherries. With a big smiley face cherry on the top. Yeah. So the cake that you're drawing, it doesn't have to be like, Oh, I'm just gonna draw a chocolate cake or a strawberry cake. It can be a cake as crazy as you want it to be. It can be a dream cake filled with things like popcorn, salted caramel, ice cream, mint slices, Tim Tams. It can be filled with lamingtons. It can be filled with chocolate wafers. It can be filled with cotton candy. It can be filled with all the all the fruits that you can think of in the world. It can be filled with anything you want. It can even be filled with flowers. So basically, what you are gonna do is like what I have done is I've started by drawing a big platter and then I've worked my way up and I've added a few different layers and I finish it off with a gi giant wobbly jelly on the top. Can you see? Okay, now I'm done using my fat marker because I've done the main shape of the cake. I'm now going to use the skinny marker and I'm going to go in. May I can start from the top or the bottom or I can start in the middle up to you where you want to start. And I'm going to start adding details. I'm going to add maybe little gems, little love hearts. This marker is dying, it's a little bit old, so there's not much ink, so I'm going to change. I'm going to add, ah, uh -huh, much, oh, also not much ink. Uh, apparently, I've been drawing a little bit too much in this yet, so all my markers are drying up. But it's, oh, uh, ooh, this is also drying up. What is wrong with all my markers? Hmm, but it's okay, I'm going to use what I can. But basically... Let me see. You know what? I'm gonna go grab more markers. Ah, I'm, hold on. Marker, marker, where are you? Well, since all my markers are drying out, I'm back with a whole bunch of them. <laughs> Surely one of them has ink, right? So, just keep drawing. Ah, this one, oh, well, this one has ink, sort of. So, you're gonna fill up with as many details as you can okay maybe still not much ink what is wrong with my markers today they are all running out of ink maybe someone's been specially drawing at night without me knowing mm. maybe louie my boy my baby boy has been coming into the yurt secretly at night to do drawing <laughs> you never know <laughs> so you are basically gonna fill up and draw you know what I'm, i've given up i've given up with all my markers all these markers are running out of ink so i'm just gonna go back to the big fat marker okay <laughs> but yes um basically you can fill up as many details as you can you can draw zigzags different patterns you can draw fishes with smiley faces you can basically draw as many different things as you like Fill up each layer of the cake with designs, with patterns, with, I don't know, food that you like. You can even draw cupcakes within your cake because it's a crazy cake anyway. It doesn't have to be real, like, oh, it's just a boring chocolate cake. It can be a cake filled with hundreds and thousands and polka dots. It can be a cake filled with the moon and the stars and the sun. It can be a cake filled with mermaids. It can be a cake filled with clouds. It can be a cake filled with robots or buildings or anything you want in the world. It's a special cake that you are going to make up and you are going to design this special cake and fill it up with all sorts of interesting things. Okay? So I'm not going to sit here and fill up the whole cake because I want to take my time and I want to do it slowly. So I'm going to move on. Because I've actually already done one and I took almost two days to finish that because 
I took my time and I did it slowly. I designed it. I thought about it. I painted it. I worked on it. And in the end, I'm so proud of it because it looks so happy and colorful. So of course, I don't want to rush this because rushing art, nah, -uh, you don't end up getting a beautiful thing. But basically, once you have filled up your whole cake with as many different details as you can, you're then going to paint it using the colored paints or markers or color pencils that you have. Basically, just fill in with as many colors as you can think of. Like over here, I'm going to do a bit of painting so that you can see. I'm going to use a little bit of yellow. I can even add some orange and do some blending. Okay? So, you can do anything you want. Your cake doesn't have to be, oh, it's just chocolate, so only brown. Who cares? You can do rainbow. You can do glitter cake. If you've got a bit of glitter at home. Okay, maybe I shouldn't say this because mommy and daddy, you might not like me for this because... um. Yeah, we all know that, you know, glitter is very hard to clean up. So, kids, if you're watching this, please don't immediately go say, Mommy, she says glitter. No, because glitter is very, very hard to, pay, uh, to, to remove. But if you really want to use glitter and Mommy and Daddy say you can, what you can do is a simple tip. You can use a bit of white blue, mix it with a bit of glitter powder, and then paint it. Treat it like paint, just that you got to wash your brush after that. So yeah, basically, um, you can fill up your whole cake with as many details, drawn details, draw as many different things as you can think of, and then take your time, paint it all in, and at the end of the day, because I like to do a sped up version, <laughs> so that you can see, ah, let me just pull up my giant cake. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? You see the cherries? Can you see? And then we've got the jelly and some candles. And then we've got cupcakes and ice creams. And we've got flowers and the rain. It's a bit small, but I hope you can see. And then we've got lollipops and gemstones. And we've got butterflies. And we've got a whole bunch of patterns. And we've got rainbows. So there you go. This is my giant, giant cake. So you can do your own version. You don't have to copy mine. See, so much details. I've even done blending. I've even done confetti. I've even done a big sun. So take your time. Do up your own special cake. And if you've created one of these, please share them with me because I love, 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 absolutely love seeing what you guys and children all around the world do um, whenever they watch my videos. So yes, I hope today's lesson has been fun. Oh, and I forgot to mention, once you're done painting with it, let it dry and you can cut it out. See, I've cut mine out. There you go. Take your time. If you want to practice, this your cutting skills i've also got something very very fun that i have just uploaded online this week i've got a special mystic crocodile cutting exercise online so a lot of mums and dads have actually commented saying that oh my child has been watching your videos but they're very tiny they need to improve on their cutting skills because some of the things that we've been doing requires about cutting especially the giant sunflowers so here you go. Here's a special lesson for you. Especially useful if you like to practice your cutting skills. Or even if you're like an older child, like maybe year six even, and you're very good with cutting, this class will be very good as well because you can focus on drawing your own animal. Look up online, you know, on Google or something. Um, search for an animal, do some shading, draw it, observational drawing from a picture. And then... Use your brain and your cutting skills and cut as many innovative leaves and patterns as you can think of. And you can do a basically a fun camouflage piece. It doesn't have to be a crocodile. It can also be a cheetah, a panther, a pig, a lion. It can be a picture of you. <laughs> and of course, if you're not into drawing animals, you want to do like a jungle piece but filled with a person instead. I also have another fun activity self-portraits so i have a lot of all these resources online um frida carlo i talk about a mexican artist very very famous um and she does self-portraits i also have things like learning how to paint like vincent van gogh um this dutch artist and learning how to paint your own bedroom so a lot of art activities online um and all these can also suit a much younger child you just have to simplify and i've got instructions online on how to simplify it but basically, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Art supplies, if you need any, they're all online as well. Until the next art lesson, see you guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>